us all over the world. Good morning. The Lord be with your spirit in Jesus' name. Welcome to the University of God. Last week we have prayed. We have committed the name of thousand to God to reposition your life. The list is still with us and more name has been added to the list. So your name is included. Why are we doing so? The Bible calls us to stand in the gap. Because many Christians, many believers are today facing challenges. Their faith has been challenged in a very unique way. I want to tell you that you are a child of destiny. Why are you facing all this trouble? When you look at it, say, why me all this? Why me all this trouble? But I'm telling you, <laughs> say, why me all these blessings? The devil wants you to focus on what you do not have. He wants you to focus on how you are doing. Your greatness from heaven has nothing to do with your own strength. God never asks you to do what you can do. Go to the Bible. God has called you to make a difference in your life. If you are doing only what is common, how will you make a difference? God called Moses to a great task. Moses said in the book of Exodus, Lord, I can't do this. I can't speak. God said to him, I will be with you. He called a small boy called Samuel to be a great prophet. He called Jeremiah and he said, Lord, I cannot speak. God said, I will be with you. Take note of that. God never asks us to do what we can do. He will always ask us what is impossible so that he can teach us, give us divine enablement to do that which we cannot do ourselves. Do you see your life clearly today? Do you see yourself the way Jesus sees you? Stop focusing on you. Stop focusing on the pain of the past. Today is opportunity. Your past is over. Jesus Christ never consult your past to determine your future. Never ever. He came to point you to your future. Do you know you have a future? If you are called by God Almighty, your journey in life has been documented from heaven. And nothing out of your heavenly documentary will happen to you without the knowledge of God. My people, listen to me. Listen to my words. Nothing can come against you and I without the knowledge of God before it ever happens. The foolish one will never allow God's purpose to be done in your life without putting on a fight. But the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord. I'm here to say no mortal man or devil can supersede the plan of God for your life. If you lay hold of this truth, sky will be your limit. If you lay hold of this truth that nothing out of God's control can happen to you, you will be free. The devil knows it, but you have to know it. He wants you to focus on yourself. He wants you to measure yourself by yourself. Look at my family. No one has made it. If you focus on what you are doing, you will end up by giving up. It's too much for me. Enough is enough. I can't do this. I can't make it. These are the words that Satan wants you to say. If you think defeat and failure and talk it, he will not leave you. But praise the Lord. Jesus is busy repositioning your life and planting a seed of what you are becoming. You have to believe it today. Remember David. David was a shepherd boy. He never knew that he was called to be and a place of excellency as a king, as a prophet, as a leader. When the time has come for God to fulfill his purpose in the life of David, God sent prophet Samuel to the house of Jesse to appoint a king. Let me tell you, the greatness of God in your life has nothing to do with your weaknesses. It has nothing to do with your family background. Stop saying nobody in my family has made it. You are called to make a difference. When someone came to the house of Jesse, the father looked at the natural and bring the elder one, the second, the third, the seventh. 
but the one who nobody thought about, the one who was thought to be useless, the one who man never considered worthy is the one God sees worthy. David. We all know how David was successful in life. What makes David successful was not his power, nor his might. When it is time for God to expose you for success, for greatness, oh my Lord, nothing can stop the hand of God. God will take you to a place of impossibilities and lift you by faith above the realm of your own possibilities and make God's possibility available to you. You know what happened to Goliath? What is your Goliath today? David came, there was a giant called Goliath. Everybody was shaking with fear because they were looking at him on the outside and focusing on their own possibilities. But David, led by the Spirit of God, came and said to him, You come to me with spear and javelin, weapons on the outside. I, I come to you in the name of the Lord. Today you will know there is a God in Israel. Today you will know the God with Oh my Lord, we fight not by weapons of man, but powerful weapons Jesus has given us. Today, to take the battle. I want you to take your situation under control. I want you to stand up and be what God wants you to be today. What is your giant? Your giant is not on the outside. Your giant is not your neighbor. Your giant is not your brother. Your giant is yourself. What is your giant? Guilt, fear, inferiority complex, condemnation. Jesus has come to pull down those four giants from your life. Those voices that sit in your heart at the point of breakthrough, you can't make it. Don't try it, you will fail. See your family, nobody has made it. Hmm, it's too much for you. That voice, Today, in the name of Jesus, we are going to uproot that giant from your mind, from your soul, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, we don't overcome the devil by our power and might. The Bible says there is no mental strength to overcome Satan and circumstances. He can only be defeated by the strength of the Lord. That victory is already yours if you recognize it. That victory, that breakthrough is already there if you recognize it. Listen to what Jesus said. Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 18 verse 20. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I will be there. Oh my Lord. I want you to stand up today in the name of Jesus. You have a responsibility. Many of you. You have a family, you have a business, you have a career, you have a destiny to take hold of it. Today with Jesus, you will step into it. Today, that giant of fear, discouragement, disappointment, today we are going to pull it down together with Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I want you to stand up. See what David said. When David faced the giant on the battlefield, what did he do? He was not shaking. David did not walk, he ran towards it. But before he ran, he said something. He declared the victory. Jesus said in the book of Mark, chapter 11, 22, 23, have faith in God. Mean your ability is not in yourself, in God. Have faith in God's ability to back you up. Jesus said, if you speak to that mountain, look at this mountain. Speak to that mountain, be cast out to the sea, and Jesus said, it will come to pass. Do you believe that? What is your mountain? Right now, I want you to speak. I'm going to join my faith to your faith. With Jesus backing up here in heaven, we are going to speak to the giant. I'm going to speak to the giant of fear, disappointment, setback, causing you to weigh down, to live in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't just say amen. Open your mouth and join me in prayer to command failure to live your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to speak to devil. I'm going to speak to that giant. I'm going to speak to that spirit that has been weighing down your life, holding you back. I say live in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to that voice, that demonic voice, 
that has been weighing you down, robbing you an opportunity of blessing, out in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever spirit that is not of Jesus, troubling your life, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. That voice of failure, that voice of setback, I say, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to that ancestral spirit. I speak to that spirit that keep on operating in your life, in your family. Yoke of limitation, setback, poverty. I say, out in the name of Jesus Christ. Be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. Be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. What is holding you now from seeing life clearly? That cloud, that cloud of oppression, that cloud that is breaking your focus. I say be dispelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Be dispelled in the name of Jesus Christ. You unclean spirit, any way you are operating in the life, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, Come out of your life in the name of Jesus. Come out of the life. Leave my people. Come out. Be cast out. Be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. God is busy repositioning you since last week. I said every appointment with disappointment be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to your heart and I say it, take heart. You are not alone. You and God are the majority. I speak to your life, to your health. Let there be light in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak freedom. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, your word stands forever. Whatever you ask in my name, I will see to it, it is done. Father, the list is here in our hands. Jesus, you have said, rejoice that your name is written in heaven. Lord Jesus, we pray for every single soul of this list. In the mighty name of Jesus, your mercy locate them. Locate them. Locate them. Locate them for favor and mercy in the name of Jesus. Locate them. Locate them. Locate them in your mercy, in your favor, in the name of Jesus Christ. Protect them, Lord, above human destruction. Lord, you pray for Simon Peter, so his faith will not fail. Lord, you pray, their faith will never fail in the name of Jesus. I pray, I pray, your faith increase in the name of Jesus. Look to Jesus, look to Jesus, receive faith from him. It's a gift from God. Lord Jesus, increase their faith, increase their faith, increase their faith, increase their faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, enter their soul, enter their soul, enter their soul, enter their hearts. In the name of Jesus, as you did for David, enter their heart. Make them strong and bold to stand up in the name of Jesus. To stand up and take up their possession, their possession, their possession in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan will no longer rob you of joy. We will no longer rob you of joy, inner joy of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you a businessman? Are you planning to close your business? Don't give up. In the name of Jesus. Right now, I speak to that business. Speak to it. Speak to that giant. Speak to discouragement. Come out in the name of Jesus. Give way, give way, give way in the name of Jesus. At the point of breakthrough entering the promised land, they were afraid because of giants and they didn't want to take it up. I pray. In the name of Jesus, 
you move on. Move on, move on, move on, move on, move on, move on in the name of Jesus Christ. Move on in the name of Jesus Christ. Take your position. Take your position. Take your position. Take your position. The battle is the Lord. The battle is the Lord. The battle is the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, touch them, Lord. Give them the gifts of eyes that can see. Restore the dream. Restore their dream. Restore their dream. Restore their dream. Dream, dream. Vision in the name of Jesus Christ. Vision in the name of Jesus. Dream, dream, dream in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I pray. Whatever is written in heaven in the book of life. Your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy. Speak for them in the name of Jesus. Speak for them in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have come to cancel our past and to give birth to the future. Cancel the past. Cancel the past. No to failure. No to failure. Yes to success in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Judges chapter 6, you called Gideon to greatness. He said, Lord, I'm a small boy. My family is too small. God say, I will be with you. Right now, God is with you. Right now, begin to lift up your soul, your voice in the name of Jesus. That giant, that giant in your heart that has been telling you that you cannot make it, begin to rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Who told you you can? That's the devil's voice. You and God are majority. Say, I can in the name of Jesus. Nothing is impossible to the one who wills. Nothing is impossible to the one who believes. All Jesus asks, believe in his ability. Believe in his ability. Believe in his ability to restore your marriage in the name of Jesus. I speak to the destroyer. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Your marriage be rescued in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of division. Confusion of divorce. I bind it in the name of Jesus. Be cast out. Be cast out. Be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever people have said against you, whatever circumstances have said about you, and you believe it, I say now, be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, begin to lift up your spirit, your soul to Jesus, to the light. Let there be light in your heart, light in your mind, light in your dreams, light in your business, light in your family, light in your health, in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak restoration. The voice of God say restoration. Jesus has come for restoration. He has come for restoration in your spirit. Restoration in your soul restoration in your body when Jesus came you saw what he did he came to change people's life for good no one is hopeless to come to Jesus Jesus is alive he didn't ask you how strong you are no he asked you to remove your strength he can give his strength today in the name of Jesus did the enemy put you to the wall and you say, the end has come? No! The end has not come. Jesus has a final word. Listen to me. Any thought right now going through your mind, telling you that you cannot make it. Any thought telling you, reminding you your past failure. Oh my God. Don't put the thought into words in the name of Jesus. I curse the thought. I reject them in the name of Jesus. No thought of evil or failure will die unborn in the name of Jesus. Speak life. Say you negative thought. I reject you. I reject you. You failure. I reject you. I reject you. I reject you. Speak to him. Speak to that failure. Speak to that mountain. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. What is happening to your health today? Jesus said, I am the healer. I am the restorer. 
I am the repairer. Lord Jesus, we speak life to that affliction. We speak to that affliction in their body, in their organ. Let your resurrection power come. Be restored in the name of Jesus. Be restored in the name of Jesus. Be released, be released, be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Be released in your body. Be released, be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Be made whole. Be made whole within. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said nobody can succeed alone. No one can succeed alone. We are praying for favor. Favor of God. The hearts of all men are in the hand of the Lord. Lord Jesus, I pray for every single of them, Lord. Your favor, your favor, your favor. Begin to speak to every circumstance of your life. Lord Jesus, speak favor, 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 mercy, mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Many, 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 many has a qualification. Many are graduated. Many are skillful. They have what it takes to succeed. Lord, all they need your mercy and your favor. I say, in the name of Jesus, let the mark of your favor be upon them, Lord. The mark of your grace be upon them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father's forgiveness, 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 forgiveness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. You and God are a majority. Open your heart and ask Jesus to come into your heart right now. Ask him. Ask the overcomer to come into your heart right now to do what you're going to do. Ask the comforter to come to your heart to do what you're going to do. Ask Lord Jesus to come into your heart for restoration. Come into my heart for salvation. Come into my heart for righteousness. Come into my heart, O oh Lord. Ask him to come. Ask Jesus to come. In the name of Jesus, ask him to come into your heart, into your heart, into your heart, into your heart, in the name of Jesus. When Jesus comes, he comes with a package. When Jesus comes, he comes with a peace of heart. He comes with eternity, with salvation, and the blessing of Abraham. I speak the blessing of Abraham to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak the blessing of Abraham to your life, to your spirit, in the name of Jesus. The blessing of eternity, the dew from heaven, the peace from heaven in your life, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The uncommon peace of Christ, take hold of your heart, take hold of your mind, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The one who overcomes fear for you is the Holy Spirit. When he comes, he dispels every shade of fear in the name of Jesus. Today, many are robbed of opportunity because of fear. Because of fear, because of fear, many opportunities drop down. Because of fear, fear of tomorrow, fear of tomorrow, I don't want to do this. I don't want that fear, that giant be in the name of Jesus. I cast it out. I cast it out. I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. Jesus is coming not to be a tenant, but to be the landlord of your heart. Holy Spirit is coming not to be a tenant, to be the landlord. If the one who overcomes dwells in your heart, you will overcome all obstacles today. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Restoration, 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 restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we are praying for families. We are praying for families. We are praying for families, Lord. When you intervene, Lord, to rescue Noah, you did not rescue Noah alone. You rescued Noah with his children and their wives. And the Bible says you rescued them. When they came to rescue Lot, you did not rescue Lot alone, but you rescued him and his family. Father, we commit every person watching. We commit everyone, all the family in your hand in the name of Jesus. Protection, protection, protection in the name of Jesus. Mercy, mercy, mercy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Protect their children. Protect their wives. 
protect their family, protect them though any way they are in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we cover every name here under the blood of Jesus. We bring every name, every person, every person under this telecast before the blood of Jesus. Let the Spirit of God take it up in the name of Jesus. Father, enter their soul, enter their life, enter their dream, enter their life in the name of Jesus. Let them see your hand through all the circumstances, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you know the world, the circumstances around the world. But we remember, Lord, when you descended to rescue your people in the land of Mitzrayim, in the lands of Egypt, the Bible says, there was no darkness in Goshen. There was no plague where your people was because of your protection. Holy Spirit, you are the light. You are the light. Dispel every shade of darkness around them in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are the cloud that protects them in the wilderness. Be the cloud of protection, cloud of protection, cloud of protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Shelter them under the shadow of your mercy, of your protection in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm asking you something to do. Right now, you are going to do something you have never done. Remember, God say. I am with you. That's what God said. Go, Moses, don't be afraid. I am with you. Go, Gideon, don't be afraid. I am with you. Now you have to draw your plan. Draw a plan today in the name of Jesus. Be it in a new job, be it in the business, whatever is your plan, bring it before the blood of Jesus. Right now, I want you to stand up. Stop limiting yourself. Stop living under four foot ceiling. It was when David stepped out in boldness into the battlefield that God's power came. You have to do something. Don't be stifled. Don't be afraid. Don't limit yourself. You have a business plan? Go. You want to do a job? Go with the Lord. Go with the Lord. Go with the Lord. Go with the Lord. Go with Jesus. Expand your course. Expand your course. Don't be afraid. Jesus is holding your hands. Go with the Lord. Go with the Lord. If God with you, who can be against you? Go with him. When you go with Jesus, you go with favor. You go with mercy. Impossibilities become possible. Ask them, he will tell you. It does not take God anything to shift your life to a new round, to turn your life around. It does not take long for Jesus to shift your life around. Believe. Believe. You are a believer. Believe in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Enlarge your spiritual course in the name of Jesus. I pray for strength. I pray for wisdom. I pray for courage. I pray for new idea, new idea, new idea in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you running out of idea in your business? You are called to make a difference. I pray. The Lord give you a new dream. I pray the Lord give you a new dream. A dream he gave to Joseph. Oh my God, change his life. Receive a new dream in the name of Jesus. I pray you dream dreams in the name of Jesus. I pray you dream dreams in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Now I pray for your finances. Whatever has been stolen from you, the devil, oh my God, is a robber. Sickness to give you stole your joy and your money. People have no joy all today. Today we are paying for inner joy. Inner joy that Jesus is with you today. Whatever has been stolen, I say be gathered in the name of Jesus. I speak to the devourer to restore, to restore, to restore, to restore. What is yours in the name of Jesus Christ? Restoration, restoration, restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. The joy of your home, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. The joy of your marriage, be restored in the name of Jesus. Be restored in the name of Jesus. Be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Your peace 
of heart. Lord Jesus, you are the uncommon God with the uncommon peace. Let your peace enter the heart in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have said, come to me, all the heavy laden. Father, they have sent their prayer requests. They are heavy laden, heavy laden with trouble. Heavy laden in their business, in their health, in their life, in their home, in their family. Heavy laden. Lord Jesus, give them rest in the name of Jesus. Give them rest in the name of Jesus. Give them rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your peace enter their home in the name of Jesus. Rest in the name of Jesus. Peace in the name of Jesus. Joy in the name of Jesus. Success in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ to pray. Jesus is busy planting the seed of what you are becoming. What you need to do now to act faith. Stop limiting yourself when you are going for a job, for a business plan, or for something tomorrow. Stand up and say, I'm going with the Lord. Lord, your hands in my hands. Come with me, Jesus. Open the door. Jesus said to you and I, I have the key of David. When I lock, nobody can open. When I open, nobody can lock. Jesus opened the door to mercy and success in your life in the name of Jesus. Jesus locked the door of the past in the name of Jesus. Failure be locked in the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 a new way, a new way, a new way, a new dawn, a new life, a new purpose, a new vision in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't forget, forgive everybody. God never asks us to pray against a human being. You pray for human being. God never asks us to pray against those who fail you. Pray for them. We don't pray against human beings. We pray for people. The only prayer against it is a Satan. The only prayer against it is for the devil and clean spirit. But pray for your neighbor. Pray for your brother. Pray for your sister. Pray for those who hate you. Pray for them. If you do that, God will take up all the challenges of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to give you an assignment for next week. God has given us a powerful weapon. The weapon of meditation. The only way to stay an overcomer and to overcome fear and doubt is to get the word of God in your heart. God has given us an assignment for you. I give it to you today. Get the book of Psalm 23. You know, get your Bible, the book of Psalm 23. It's only six verses. From now to next week, learn it by heart. Get it in your heart. Get it in your heart. Get it in your heart, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters and he restores my soul. He makes me walk in the path of righteousness according to his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me, O Lord. Hola, Lord. You set the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me, shall follow them all the days of their life and shall abide in the presence of the Lord forever. Learn this psalm by heart, by heart, by heart. Next week, God will take us to the secret of that psalm. It will change the way you think. It will change the way you talk. You will know that God is with you. If you know God can open your eyes to see who is with you, you will stop fearing. Satan has been lying to you for so many years. Many end up saying, I could have been, I could have done because of fear. He said, oh my God. You have to overcome fear. Now, in the name of Jesus, read that psalm. Learn it by heart, by heart, by heart. I give you a point my next week, and God will lead us to that psalm, and you will know how to change your mind. You will know how to stand in Christ Jesus anywhere you go in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we commit each and every one of them Lord, walk before them. Walk before them for success. 
Work before them for favor. Work before them in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let them come with testimony that they have seen your mercy, your hand at work in their life. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. As you learn together with us in the University of God, we encourage you to keep updated with the latest teachings, divine lectures and prayers on the UOG.org and the UOG official social media. As the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 13, And we also thank God continually, because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it not as a human word, but as it actually is, the word of God which is indeed at work in you who believe. Yes, as the word of God is at work in you who believe, changes are beginning. Because in God's word is converting power, transforming power, purifying power, healing power, breakthrough power. This living word settles in your heart by revelation and a new way of life comes. We can't wait to hear your testimony. You can record a video of yourself sharing your experience and post it on your social media and in the comment section of the UOG videos on YouTube with the hashtag Revelation Comes for the glory of Jesus Christ. Remember the Samaritan woman's encounter with Jesus Christ through the word of Revelation changed her life forever. She dropped her pot and ran to tell of what God had done in her life. It was her testimony that brought the whole of Samaria to Jesus, and they were saved. Alors que vous étiez avec nous à l'Université de Dieu, nous vous encourageons à suivre les derniers enseignements, les messages divins et les prières sur the UAG.org ainsi que sur les réseaux sociaux officiels de l'UAG. Comme le dit la Bible dans 1 Thessaloniciens chapitre 2 verset 13. C'est pourquoi nous rendons continuellement grâce à Dieu de ce qu'en recevant la parole de Dieu que nous vous avons fait entendre, vous l'avez reçu, non pas comme étant la parole d'un homme, mais ainsi qu'elle est vraiment comme la parole de Dieu, la parole qui agit en vous qui croyez. Tandis que la parole de Dieu agit en vous qui croyez, des changements se produiront. Car la parole de Dieu déclare que lorsque le Saint-Esprit parle, les changements s'opèrent. Dans la parole de Dieu se trouve une puissance de conversion, une puissance de transformation, une puissance de purification, une puissance de guérison et une puissance de percée. Cette parole vivante s'installe dans notre cœur au moment de la révélation. Et un nouveau mode de vie prend place. Nous sommes impatients de vous entendre, d'écouter votre témoignage. Enregistrez une vidéo partageant votre expérience et vos témoignages sur vos médias sociaux dans la section des commentaires des vidéos de UOG sur YouTube avec le hashtag RevelationComes pour la gloire de Jésus-Christ. Rappelez-vous la rencontre de Jésus avec la femme samaritaine à travers la parole de révélation qui a changé sa vie à jamais. Elle laissa tomber sa cruche et courut raconter ce qu'il est arrivé, ce que Dieu avait fait. Elle a raconté tout le village. C'est son témoignage qui a ramené toute la Samarie à Jésus et ils furent tous sauvés. Mientras aprendes junto a nosotros en la Universidad de Dios, te animamos a mantenerte actualizado con las últimas enseñanzas, conferencias divinas y oraciones en theuog.org y los medios sociales oficiales de la Universidad de Dios. Como dice la Biblia en 1 de Tesalonicenses 2, 13, por lo cual también nosotros sin cesar damos gracias a Dios de que cuando recibisteis la palabra de Dios que oísteis de nosotros, la recibisteis no como palabra de hombres, sino según es, en verdad, la palabra de Dios, la cual actúa en vosotros los creyentes. 
a medida que la palabra de Dios está obrando en los que creen, los cambios están comenzando. Porque en la palabra de Dios está el poder de conversión, el poder transformador, el poder purificador, el poder de sanidad, el poder para el progreso. Esta palabra viva se instala en tu corazón por revelación y viene una nueva forma de vida. No podemos esperar a escuchar tu testimonio. Graba un video compartiendo tu experiencia y compártelo en tus redes sociales y en la sección de comentarios de los videos de la Universidad de Dios en YouTube con el hashtag RevelationComes para la gloria de Jesucristo. Recuerda, el encuentro de la mujer samaritana con Jesucristo a través de la palabra de revelación cambió su vida para siempre. Dejó caer su cántaro y corrió a contar lo que Dios había hecho. Fue su testimonio el que llevó a toda Samaria a Jesús y fueron salvos.